it doesn't matter if you have a, just an iPhone that you're gonna record someone. If they've got a beautiful story, they've got a beautiful story. The idea that you don't need equipment to tell stories. You need stories to tell stories. Filming, cameras, <laughs> taking pictures. So coming to this project, this little Cottonwood Canyon project, over the past couple of years, I've found some really interesting stories that have a lot to do with climbing, but I wanted something a little bit more, something that mattered, something that, that could actually make a difference. Growing up, we had what we called the goalie. As a five-year-old kid, we didn't realize that what we thought was the goalie behind our house was really this beautiful mecca called Little Cottonwood Canyon. When the Utah Department of Transportation came out with these two proposals to alleviate the traffic in Little Cottonwood Canyon, I thought this is the perfect opportunity to protect and preserve something that I really care about, which is the amazing climbing in Little Cottonwood Canyon. What we wanted to do was to tell this story of the beautiful canyon through the lens of the climbing community. Our first step in prepping for all the little cottonwood shoots was finding talent and finding a story that we actually thought was worthwhile. So what we decided to do is we wanted to tell this story not through the lens of professional climbers. We wanted to tell it through the lens of really the local climbers, the people who escape every day to go and recharge their batteries. We put a whole cut together and we realized that we were missing something. It's interesting when you start piecing together a story, you start crafting everything, you start realizing, oh, if only we had a shot that looked like this. Oh, if only we had a person saying this. We had a lot of these beautiful shots of these climbers climbing these really aesthetic lines, but we thought it would be awesome to show more of the communal aspect, show the community, show what Little Cottonwood Canyon is famous for whole bunch of climbers together, sitting on the pads, hanging out, having a good time. So that was something that we had to kind of circle back around to. One of the biggest things that we didn't do was actually have a shot list ready to go. When we had the story that we wanted to shoot for, but we didn't have all the shots that we wanted. So we'd be out shooting one day, come back, edit for a little bit and say, oh shoot, we need this shot. Now we need to have a girl say this. Oh, now we need to have a guy say this. And so it was always kind of going back and forth of, Okay, how many days is this actually gonna take? How long is this project actually gonna take? Don't ever be scared to try something and have it fall completely flat. And when you come back into the editing studio, realize, you know what? This looks like garbage. This didn't work at all. I think we did a really good job in showing not only the beauty of the canyon, but what Little Cottonwood Canyon does for these climbers and what it would do to the community and to them individually if any of these proposals were to go through, whether that be the widening of the road or the gondola, these things could be extremely detrimental to you know, what happens in the future. Being able to just go out with my brother and my cousin to just film a story that might actually have an impact on the community at large is a really cool privilege to have, to be able to just grab some cameras, go out and shoot something that might actually make a difference in that community. What really matters is the people and the story that you're trying to tell.